If you work very long hours or have to stay away from your cats for an extended amount of time, it is important to consider a few precautions to ensure your pet stays physically and emotionally healthy. While cats may be better equipped to handle loneliness than their canine counterparts, it's important not to overestimate their coping skills. Research has shown that cats form strong bonds with their owners. They feel safer and more secure when their guardians are around. They even experience stress and separation anxiety when you're gone. In this video, we will talk about 9 common mistakes cat owners unknowingly make when leaving their cats at home alone. Number 9. Don't neglect to arrange for a pet sitter. You might be tempted to leave your pet home alone with a bowl of food and water and head off for a weekend road trip, but you could be putting your cat's physical and mental health in jeopardy. Cats depend on their owners for valuable social time, such as cuddling and playing. You would never leave your dog alone for that amount of time, and your cat is just as social and just as dependent on you. It is important to arrange for a cat sitter, who can come over a few times a day to make sure your cat is eating its meals, being played with, and keep its routines intact. Number 7. Don't forget to provide an extra litter box. It's simple. No one wants to use a dirty bathroom. Cats are very clean animals, so the idea of using a filthy restroom is just as repulsive to them as it is to us. When you're gone, the last thing a stressed cat needs is a dirty litter box, as it can be yet another cause of anxiety. Make sure to set up several litter boxes around the house and clean your cat's box before you leave. If you're often gone for an extended period of time, instruct your pet sitter to scoop the litter boxes daily. If it's not clean enough, your pet may find a different and perhaps undesirable place to do its business. Number 6. Don't change your cat's routine. Cats are creatures of habit, and they depend on us to keep their surroundings stable and predictable. Any change in their daily routine or environment can cause them to stress out. This is why leaving your cat alone for an extended period of time without a pet sitter can prove a negative experience. You'd never leave your cat without water and food, but the timing as to when they get their food is very important too. Because they thrive on predictability, any friend or pet sitter should visit your cat at least as often as the times you give your cat meals. It will be less stressful for the cat if a normal routine is maintained in terms of having the litter box scooped regularly, food served at the normal times, and some degree of normal activity in the home. Number 5. Don't close your shades. Many people close their shades and blinds when they leave the house to keep the energy bill down and keep outsiders from looking in. However, for many cats, a window perch can be an endless source of entertainment. If your cat loves watching birds and squirrels outside or basking in the sunlight, leave a few of your shades open for their benefit. Number 4. Get them a friend. Although there are cats who prefer to be alone, most cats enjoy each other's company, and they thrive on building intimate ties with other felines. If you leave your cat alone every day and you can't provide your pet with enough interaction, playtime, and stimulation, consider getting a second cat to fill the need. Some people think that double the pause means double the trouble, but that's not true. All the playing and mental stimulation during the day leads your kitties to cat naps, not mischief. Number 3. Don't board a cat who is better off with in-home care. Sometimes boarding your cat is the best option, particularly if they have a medical condition that requires regular medication and monitoring. That said, most cats are understandably more comfortable and happier in their own homes. It's typically very stressful for cats to be placed in an unfamiliar environment, especially if that environment contains unfamiliar sounds and smells from other felines or unfamiliar humans. When cats are placed in a boarding facility, they get the double whammy of not having the pet parents around as well as losing their territory. Ultimately, whether or not you board your cat or keep them at home is a personal decision. Make sure to weigh your cat's social and physical needs and the duration of your time away before you hire a pet sitter or board your pet. Number 2. Don't neglect to create opportunities for enrichment. It is important to remember that cats need opportunities for enrichment while you're gone. If you have more than one cat, you've already taken a great first step to keeping your fur baby entertained while you're away. Create a little fun for your pet before you go off to work. A cat tree, cat perch, open paper bags, and fun toys create entertainment and can make a difference to a cat who spends the day alone.
If your feline friend is food motivated, then treat based puzzles can be fun. Television can also make for great entertainment. Popping the TV on may seem a bit weird, but your cat will love it. Cats often like videos that show animals like birds and mice running around or fish swimming. Show one to your cat, and if they get interested, you know you're onto a winner. Likewise, many cats may find comfort in listening to relaxing classical music or talk radio while you're gone. Number 2. Don't leave food in one big pile. Of course, you want your cat to have access to plenty of nutritious food while you're gone. But if you pile a weekend's worth of food into your cat's bowl, they may overeat due to stress and become sick or run out of food on the final day of your trip. On the other hand, some cats are picky eaters and will turn their nose up at food that is less than fresh. Instead, have your pet sitter feed them according to their regular schedule and distribute snacks in multiple food toys and hiding places. Do cats get lonely? Scientists have found that cats form attachments to their owners that are similar to those that dogs and even babies form with their caregivers. Because of the deep attachments they form, cats become lonely when they are left unattended for long periods of time. Because cats appear very stoic, many people miss the signs indicating that all is not happy in Kitty's world. A common sign of loneliness is excessive vocalization. A lonely cat will wander through the house, meowing constantly or even yowling, looking for someone to answer them. Lonely cats tend to be the most vocal when you return home after a long day away or at night when you're trying to sleep. Another classic sign of loneliness among cats includes destructive behavior such as clawing up furniture or knocking objects over. Lonely cats who don't have a friend to play with may resort to destructive behaviors as a way to work out some pent-up energy. Cats are remarkably intelligent, and if there's no one to play with, they may decide to create their own version of stimulation. Missing the litter box is also a sign of loneliness. If your cat has a clean bill of health and is still doing their business where they know they shouldn't, the problem is most likely rooted in stress. Cats can become stressed out for all kinds of reasons, including loneliness and boredom. And remember, if your pet generally won't leave you alone when you get home from work or school, it could mean that you are not giving your cat enough social interaction. Other signs that indicate your cat is having trouble with too much alone time include changes in behavior, appetite, or grooming habits. How long can cats be left alone? In general, adult cats are content being left home alone for 8 to 12 hours. If you're going to be gone for more than one night, arrange for a friend or pet sitter to look after your cat. Even more worrisome than messes is the possibility of a sudden illness or injury. Fevers, urinary blockages, blood clots, these are common cat health emergencies. And there's the emotional impact. Cats can get very stressed when left alone for a prolonged amount of time, and they may display symptoms of emotional distress, such as vomiting, lack of appetite, or diarrhea. Make sure to consider your cat's emotional well-being. Now that you know more about things to avoid when leaving your cat alone, let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. What do you do with your cats when you have to leave home for an extended amount of time? Share your own experience and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more videos.